Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Marquita from At Home with Kita. Today, we are doing a little DIY of sorts. I've been feeling real inspired lately, so I thought that I would add some decor to my kitchen island. So I'm gonna walk you through step by step and show you how easy it is to add a little bit of decor to your island. But first, if you're new here, I hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing and also giving me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy it. So let's jump in, guys. If you wanna see how I took my island from drab to fab, make sure to stay tuned. So first and foremost, here are all of the items that I picked up from Amazon. Of course, I will leave a link below just in case you're interested in any of these items. This is everything that I used to achieve the look I was going for. I did find a photo on Pinterest that I used for inspiration and that really got me going. So this is the before of how everything looked. Y'all, I really do need a new paint job on this island. But for now, we're just going to add the decor without painting it. But later, of course, I will need to touch up that paint. So that's how things look before. So I'm going to go ahead and start by cleaning up the area of course it's got quite dirty over the years since it is next to my stove I don't know for some reason it just attracts dirt and so I'm gonna go ahead and just scrub it down a little bit with some Mrs. Meyer soap again it does need to be repainted so you will be able to see some imperfections which is fine with me but the decor should cover most of the imperfections and just make it look a little bit nicer in the kitchen so I'm really looking forward to this project then I need to go ahead and figure out the distance of the bar. And so I'm just taking the cutting board and just kind of eyeballing it and measuring it and making sure that it's gonna fit the way I want it to fit. And now it is time to go ahead and screw everything on. Of course, I had to enlist my amazing husband for help. We work very well together as a team. And so again, we're just gonna just double check that measurement, get it to the right height and play around with it a little bit and just make sure that that cutting board is not gonna touch the floor. And so once we get done doing that, we are gonna be fully ready to drill everything in and of course my husband triple checks things so he made sure that the distance of the nail wasn't going to penetrate through the wall too much and just he just always does his checks and balances that's what I love about him and so uh, after he did that of course he's ready to screw it in and so that's what you see us doing here it's a very simple process and really that's all I needed his help with was just to screw that bar in and make sure it was nice and secure and then once we did that I was able to style it which is my favorite part so once he screwed the first side on, the second side was ready to be screwed in, but you do need to level it out just to make sure that the bar is gonna be completely level and it's not gonna be crooked. And once that is done, we are ready to screw it in. And so the bar that I purchased came with these S hooks. Of course, I don't need them all. And so I just used a few of them for this project. And so I found this really cute wicker basket. So I thought that would be perfect to add some flowers in. So I'm just attaching that with the S hook, sliding it over to the appropriate spot. And then of course we need to tie in some gray, some color, even though it is neutral. I found these towels on Amazon. It came in a pack of four. So I'm just gonna hang those over the bar. I did use the additional two to hang on my stove so I needed to have some towels anyway so it was perfect that it came in a pack of four so I'm just gonna go ahead and hang them both and then I'm gonna stack them a little bit just to kind of overlap them and I think that that's gonna be the look that I am going for so that's all that you see me doing here it took a little bit of finagling but I think I got it the way I want it And so the towels are hung, the wicker basket is hung. Up next, we are ready to hang the first cutting board. I thought this was a super cute cutting board. Look at the detail to it. It's just so darn pretty. These are gonna be mainly for show as opposed to function because I have tons of cutting boards already. So what you just saw me doing was just tying that knot a little bit tighter because it was hanging a little bit too low. So I just attached that to the S hook and it's at the perfect height right now. 
I did pick up a second cutting board in a smaller size. It is just as gorgeous. And so I'm gonna hang that right next to it. I don't need to make that knot smaller because it's actually gonna hang right at the perfect height. Later on, I do slide it over a little bit to be directly onto the bar because I don't like it hanging on the towel like that. And so I do slide it over eventually. Then I picked up some flowers from Amazon as well. And so I'm just gonna pull those out of the bag and I am going to insert those into the wicker basket. I went back and forth on whether or not to get this wicker basket because I do like the farmhouse style, but I didn't want to go too country. And so I was a little bit concerned as to how they were going to look, but they ended up looking very pretty. And I actually did add a few more flowers. I had some flowers laying around here and I was able to plump that up even further by adding some additional flowers. So you're going to see that coming up here in the after photos. So there you have it. Isn't it super gorgeous? Very simple, not as functional. It's more so for show, but I think it turned out really, really nice. So that's it for this video, guys. Quick, short, and to the point, right? So if you have any questions about anything that I did here, of course, I will leave all the links below just in case you want to pick any of this stuff up. Super easy to do. If you just want to add a pop of decor to your island, it is perfect. And it's the first thing that you'll see when you come in the kitchen. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you stopping by my channel today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video so much so that you'll consider subscribing and also giving me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks again for stopping by. Hopefully you'll come back and catch another video, in which case I'll see you then.